There's a warning for parents tonight after dozens of magpie attacks across Perth suburbs. A toddler was swooped while riding his bike in his front yard. And experts say it's just the beginning. Swooping season is back. Spring is magpie nesting time, meaning the territorial birds are on the attack. Ah! Megan Thornhill's son Noah was swooped last week while riding outside their Morley home. The one-year-old suffering a cut just centimetres below his eye. It was quite deep. Um, there was a lot of blood and the next morning it ended up swelling. Now play dot Noah right there. Luckily, little Noah didn't need stitches, but the ordeal has left the family fearful. They hover, they don't just swoop, they hover around the face and they repeatedly just go for the face. Now we can't even go in our front yard because of the magpies. Swooping season usually begins in August and runs for up to eight weeks, but it's been delayed because of Perth's recent rain, meaning the threat will last even longer. It's only if the male magpie feels that uh, the, the nest is under threat and that their young and offspring are under, under threat, that they'll start swooping. WA wildlife officers relocate more than 300 magpies each year. 106 attacks have been logged on the Magpie Alert website already this season. The hotspots, South Perth, Bull Creek, Hamilton Hill and Sorrento. Cyclists make up more than 70% of victims, with eye injuries the most common. Experts say there are three things you can do to avoid being swooped this season. Wear appropriate clothing, a wide brimmed hat and sunglasses for protection. If you do get swooped, do avoid that area again. And if it does happen to you, duck your head and walk. Don't run away. As soon as you're out of that, that area of concern, the magpie will stop swooping. The Morley family will stay away from the front yard and the magpie for the time being. So we just have to stay inside and stay in the backyard until, you know, sweeping season's over. Olivia Donaldson, Nine News.